Can you guys see that? Can you hear it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn it off. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. It's your girl Treyo and I'm back again with another video. Yes guys, I think it's official. I've decided that we are going to be called Hello. Treyo. So I thought about Treyan. I also thought about T-Squad and then I... Uh, T-Gang. I don't know. Something, something is missing and I just don't know what it is. So, please tell me, like, give me some sort of idea. Or what should be my interest in instead of saying hi to girl Tracy AJ or hi to girl Trail. Like, what, what else should I say, you know, to make it, to have that, mm, to have that, to have that, mm, you know, do you get what I mean? Something is missing. So, y'all, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it. Now. So, today is a simple video. To be fair, it's just me talking and trying to rubbish and just saying my opinion you know how it is so obviously as you guys know i'm doing my masters at the university of surrey and i thought it would be a great idea to compare i mean the uni just started it's first term it's about to end so we are still in the early stages you know i'm still discovering and learning about university of surrey um so yeah but i thought it would be great to kind of compare two experiences from University of Kent and University of Surrey so far and just to see which uni is better <laughs> okay so I'm not let's just dive right into it without further ado let's go okay. I feel like let's let's okay let's talk about the things that matter the most here which is assignments assignments yeah can we all agree that at the end of the day regardless of all the fun you want to have in university, anything that you want to do, it comes down to the assignment. So whether you're failing, repeating, you leaving uni, moving on to the next year, graduating with good grades, it all comes down to this simple fact. Assignment. How well did you do? Was it good? Did you get help? And so far, I'm going to have to give it to Surrey. Simply because, okay, first of all, University of Surrey, we are new students and I don't know if this is because it's a master's degree so postgraduate and undergraduate hence why these differences exist but when I started uni at University of Kent the help was not the greatest like there wasn't much help available in the sense that um so assignments for example they I mean that's what I'm talking about what the heck they didn't help much in the sense that when I had an assignment I never saw a sample of how it was supposed to be done I remember getting my lowest grade I ever got for an assignment was 50 I think and I was I remember being very very disappointed because I worked so hard on that assignment I got 50 and I was like, well, there was no way I could know, especially if you're studying something like sociology, which is a very subjective topic. Of course, we have the theoretical knowledge and the theoretical explanations for stuff, but you're still going to have to add your own subjective opinions to make things make sense, you get what I mean? But there wasn't any great example in terms of how to do it. I just remember being given the assignment and having a deadline as to when to complete it by. And it's like, well, this is my first time writing this kind of essay. How do you expect me to just automatically understand what to do, how to do it and all this stuff? But with University of Surrey, guys, I kid you not. Well, for my first assignment, I don't think we were not really showing an example of how it's supposed to look like. But overall, we were able to have one-to-one -one meetings where we could literally take in a draft sample of what our work, what we have so far to discuss anything, how, you know, it's going, what to do to improve kind of thing. And for my second assignment, which is actually due soon on the 16th, we have a whole, we have four different samples, guys, as a guideline. Because, of course, studying business is also somewhat subjective but this is a master's level and at the end of the day if we don't know how to do it we don't and i think okay i think it's because as well they understand that everybody's coming from a different you know background degree level like everybody's coming from a very di diverse background so people study business of course people studied accounting people study engineering people like myself who studied sociology people studied psychology people studied you know anything that they did pharmacy 
and stuff and now they're interested in doing business ma um, masters so of course i think you're gonna have to show examples of how it's done at a business level and of course a master's level as well and so maybe that's why they're showing it but that that is so helpful you know because essays are not easy especially when essays are like 100 percent coursework you you kind of need some sort of guideline as to how to do it samples as to the, the structure it should be like how to write and all these things and i feel like sari has just made that possible like i have guys i kid you not i have four examples of an essay or in this case a business report that i can use as a guideline to my own work and of course you can't copy it but it helps you know to kind of see oh what goes where how should i structure it to make it make sense what flows in what way and these are not just work of people who got like 40 50 60 so that people are stuck and don't get higher grades these are people who got 90 80 70 you know 72 all in the first grade um distinction level so i think that's great i don't think university university of care for me personally they didn't do that for me the only time i received that help was when i was in my final year doing my dissertation can you believe it the only time i got a sample work to look at was when i was doing my dissertation that is ridiculous that is actually ridiculous like that's that's terrible um and even that we couldn't it wasn't available online we couldn't um take it with us it had to stay in a specific area which of course i understand because everybody there is about let's say 100 people do dissertation even if there's 300 people doing dissertation there is there is like um 50 dissertations to look at and of course i get it because we, we just can't all take it otherwise you know people are just going to keep it for a long period of time and then some people will not have access to it at all so i get it but i just feel like so far so far sorry has been great help in terms of assignments second topic is financial help okay so 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 financial help i'm gonna have to give that one to university of kent um they they were so 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 helpful in terms of providing financial help to students who were in need and students who needed that a bit of extra cash and when you do an application it's not something that you continuously have to do every single term you just do it one time and it applies to all the rest university of Kent. they tell you um people be telling you different things so one time i went about i went to ask somebody told me oh you can do it every term but you gotta apply every single time somebody told me once you apply once um it just go for the whole year um but then you only receive one installment of the money so everything has been everything is just not clear and i feel like people are giving different information and because of that i haven't even applied and i've been hesitant to apply um, because i feel like the application process is just bare long and then they want you to do a management course on top of applying like as if i don't have studies to be doing i'm applying for financial help because i need it and now you're telling me i should be going to do a course as well like who's got the time and who's got the time to be applying each and every single time as well no university of kent you do that thing one time and then they give it to you every time when you need it um which is so much easier so much better and it just it just makes sense like it just makes sense of course um yeah so that's in terms of financial help i'm i'm literally keeping it straight simple to the point so of course university of ken lost to assignment but they wanted financial university of sari won with assignment but lost to finance when it comes to accommodation that is one thing that i really don't have much to say about but especially because i'm commuting from home to sari and whereas university can i stay there but um from what i've heard so if you're living on campus i think the cheapest you can go for for university of surrey is 77 pound a week which is good in my opinion because for um for university of can actually i genuinely don't remember because i don't think i lived in parkwood which was just like another building in the university place um on campus and i'm not sure if it was one of the cheapest i don't think it was I think the cheapest was earlier people, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, sorry, I'm talking in terms that people may not understand, but I'm I'm thinking the cheapest was the ones that people were sharing. Um, I 
can but i genuinely don't know how much it costed so i can't really say but um i've stayed on campus with some of my friends at sorry and the accommodation looks nice but of course it was the most it was one of the most expensive ones at so sorry staying at one of these accommodations so it was okay um i've been to some of the expensive ones like Turin, which is on campus at University of Kent, and it looked about the same. They had similar things like double bed and stuff like that. So I think that one is about the same. But in terms of which one is cheapest, I'm not quite sure. So, but it will be worth doing research if you are interested in going to either one of these universities, um, comparing so you know, you know, you know okay. what community life, guys. In terms of like the city center, I gotta give that to Kent. Kent. I gotta give that to Ken. I'm sorry, but we have McDonald's that runs 24/7. Well, we had. I'm no. I'm no longer part of the student at University of Kent Squad, but you get what I mean. We had. We had McDonald's that was there for 24/7. We had systems. We had things that were available, you know. But I'm uh, sorry, guys. Even the food court place closes early. Like what? If I'm staying there till 10. McDonald's is closed. Why? I'll be me. I don't even eat McDonald's like that. But what about those people who do? And what well, if I'm craving McDonald's that day and I want some food, but you're telling me it's closed? What kind of what kind of university society? Oh, that one don't make sense. <laughs> um, center is that. What is the reason? Tell me. What is the reason? What, what, was, the reason? Reason. what was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? Uh, uh, that that's just a big big no. Um. And also, but in terms of distance walking to the city center, it's about the same actually. Yeah, it's about the same distance to walk to the center, to the city center, which is good. Um, they are both in walking distance, but, 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 bus fare. So if you want to book, um, if you want to buy um, everyday bus pass, no. If you want to buy a ticket as you go, it's cheaper sorry and I'm not sure why because I think the distance between both cities to London is about the same so they're both close to London yet yeah, Kent charges so much more so it's one pound um, for one way ticket and it's two pound for in and out but no I've never gone a day like that sorry so I'm not sure whereas at Kent I believe it's like one pound sixty for a one way and it's like to get a return it's probably like three pound something you know, I'm like, why, why? You know we are university students. You know we don't be having money. Yet, you are charging us this much. Because you guys, if I tell you, university cities, yeah, they honestly exploit people's money because they think we got the cash. But don't you know that the student finance that we get literally goes to our accommodation? Don't you know this? Anyway, but this is a whole... Um... <clears throat> it's gotten slightly darker. Okay, in terms of lecture recordings, um, I would say it's about the same simply because some lectures record, some lectures don't, and it's really frustrating, especially at a master's level. I feel like everything should be recorded. Um, so far, everything is recorded apart from one. So we have four modules each term, and Everything's recorded apart from one, and the one that's not recorded. Okay, see now, now that um, the coursework part of that course is done, it was the first coursework that I submitted. It's done. I'm more relieved, and I don't really care about the fact it's not recorded. But then we have exams in January, so I'm like, okay, if I want to go back and listen to it, what am I gonna do? But it's not even recorded, so um, yeah. So that's not great. And University of Kent was the same. I think. Most at the beginning, a lot of things were not recorded, but I do not remember because this was four years ago, all right? Um, but I think a lot of the things were not recorded at the beginning and then towards the middle, towards the end, a lot of things started to be recorded because students demanded they to, because students demanded them to be recorded. So then it was kind of necessity. At the end of the day, the student voice has to be loud and it has to be clear and has to be heard. And of course it had to be answered. So yeah. Um, but one thing, oh guys, one thing. I'm sure, I'm sure the undergraduate level people at University of Surrey get this um, opportunity. But when everybody had reading week, 
we did not have reading week and then i was like um so you expect me to be coming to lectures and then finding some time to be doing the work that i have to do but you know i'm in every single day and then i also go with job and then you want me to do 120 hours extra week on top of the workload that i already and then you don't want to give me no reading week guys if i told you i was stressed i, I was stressed I, I submitted my work and i almost almost missed the deadline like two minutes and with sorry oh my god again i don't know if this is applicable to undergraduates but they are so strict on word counts in comparison to um, university of kent they are so 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 straight i had to write 2500 to the dot i could not go you know most of the time universities you get 10 percent above 10 percent below not in this case oh they were like no you think you're gonna be studying a master's level and be able to go over the word count like who do you think you are no 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 and i, I was like and i oh you mean to tell me that just one word over at least 10 percent hi if i tell you i was sweating toes toes when i was submitting the deadline guys i had 15 minutes to cut down 500 words guys if i thought i was just reading this and getting rid of stuff like it meant nothing to me when i was writing them i was like <laughs> of course work that i'm talking about you could go below you just couldn't go above the word count at all um but yeah it was fun though i can't lie and i okay i'm someone who i don't mind stress i can tolerate it a little bit like i i like the i like a little bit of the pressure that comes with you know trying to get things done because it makes you super alert to you you you, you just want to do it like it just gets you going you know but not to that extent like um i'm enjoying my time at sorry and i definitely enjoyed my time at kent but it's, it's of course very different because i was living in kent and it was um i feel like i was able to experience things more um first time whereas obviously university of sorry i go there and i come back home sometimes like once or twice i've stayed there um at a friend's house but most of the time i always come back so i don't really get to experience the full you know the full potential of everything that's going on so if i do not regret my decision to leave can to go study my master's at sorry um i think it was very necessary because i had to i needed a change of environment i needed a change of you know a new space i'd been at ken for four years and i think it was about time like i just go on like move on to something new meet new people explore and you know grow so yeah um okay thank you guys so much for watching i hope you were able to learn something from this video it wasn't um i was kind of just talking i didn't have much of a script to it i didn't organize what to say so i just went with the flow but I, at least i hope you made some sort of sense um if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave me a like comment subscribe and share and as i said i'm trying to think of names for you lot so help me in the comment section below and come up with a name that you will want to be called and what you think it should be my saying for my intro what should be my saying for the intro what should be my saying for the intro who, who do i think i am beyonce <laughs> beyonce okay I, I, okay i'm just i'm yeah and the gag is i can't think